Hi there, this is Tyler from Tong Tech with a review of the TAT7 iPhone underwater case. The case was sent to us from TAT7, so thanks to them for letting us try it out. In the box, uh, here's the box of what it looks like. Uh, you get your case, of course, and a wrist strap, and sort of a lock mechanism, and a lock here and some silicone grease to put on the seals here. And uh, so how it works, I'll show you that first. Uh, it's pretty simple, which is nice when you're putting your phone underneath the water. It's good to have sort of a simple mechanism. Uh, you stick your phone in. Uh, one thing to watch out for right now, it's a little bit crooked. Oh, there it goes, but it, the first time I was doing this, I had a little bit crooked and it was tight, and I pushed it thinking it had to be a tight fit to put in there, but uh, it should be loose, so if it is really tight like this, you know it's a little bit crooked, so you have to just wiggle it, and it should just slide right in. And then you lock the top like this, and then that's all there is to it. And to lock the case, you just put in this little piece there, and then put on the wrist strap clip, and now it's totally locked, it's not going to open unless unless this slide piece comes out and that can't come out unless this thing comes off because it's sort of it's locked on here. So that's a really good feature and well designed. Once this thing is on you know it's really secure no matter what how active you are underneath water. And this also works as a wrist strap which is nice you're not going to lose it if you're in waves or uh, doing other sort of uh, physical activity. So that seems really well designed and there's three buttons on the phone. This one here takes pictures. This one swaps between video and stills. And this one is your home button. And I had a problem with my case that the home button didn't work. And that was just because it didn't reach in far enough to the case or because the phone wasn't pushed up again enough. I don't know if it's a problem with just my case or if I had a problem with all of them. But I'll show you if I had I shove a little piece of paper. Now you can see when I press the home button that the picture comes up. However, uh, one unfortunate thing Apple did for these guys is it used to be when you, with the old uh, 5.0 OS on the iPhone, when you press this home button, you could just press the camera and it would open up the camera app. Now you have to slide it to the top, and because you have to slide it to the top to unlock the camera this here button that used to be able to activate the camera I used to be able to go home screen and then press this to open the camera that doesn't work anymore after the 5.1 update so you have to set your camera to never lock up which is sort of a pain uh, because if you're on a long dive or snorkeling for a long time it'll drain your battery quite a bit so considering that uh, you can't ever unlock your phone anyways I never have use for this home button because I don't want to get out of the app when I'm underwater and I can't unlock it anymore when it's in the case, so that's fine that this home button actually doesn't work and actually I don't think they'd really need it anymore. And so anyways, you put your phone in there and lock it up. I'll do all the locks just so you can see how it works again. I'll do a close up. There, so now it's secure. And so then these two buttons, I haven't had a problem with them. Uh, this button switches from video to stills and then this button takes the picture. So it works good, these are solid buttons made out of metal and a nice spring mechanism in them and it feels quite solid. It's made out of a hard uh, type of plastic it does scratch pretty easily so if you have it in your camera bag or somewhere with lots of other equipment you want to put something around it it might be nice if uh, TAT7 in the future decided to include some sort of a cloth bag to add a little protection because if you, for example, this little metal here, if I just scratch a little bit, you can see perhaps that it is uh, pretty scratched up. One nice thing they did think about though is where the lens, the iPhone lens goes, it's a little bit recessed. You can maybe see that. So it's a little less chance of that getting scratched. And that's the only spot that really matters if it gets scratched or not. 
and uh, this hinge, there's a metal pin that seems pretty sturdy. And there's a double seal here, which is also nice when you're diving deep. I don't dive, but for those who do. Uh, it's rated down to 10 meters. They chose 10 meters because it's the depth that most recreational dives uh, are less than. And snorkeling, obviously, you don't need more than 10 meters. So overall, I think it's a really good case. It's a shame that this home button doesn't work if you want to use it, but for me, it's just as well that I can't press the home button because if you press the home button and your camera app isn't here or here, then you're sort of stuck. So I'm actually quite happy that the home button doesn't work on mine, uh, but that's an issue you may or may not have on yours. And overall, it seems like a great case and seems really secure, so I think I'll give it a four-star rating. Minus one star because of the scratch, and they maybe could have in included a case if they're going to, since it's so scratch pro, and the problem with little buttons. Uh, but other than that, it's a great case, and I would, for the price it is, I would totally recommend it if you need something to take to the beach or go snorkeling with or in the water park take underwater pictures of your kids. So since I don't dive and I don't have anywhere to snorkel uh, where I live, I didn't I didn't get a chance to go diving or snorkeling with it, but I did uh, manage to dunk it in a few different water situations and I'll show you those videos now.